So this question is a diagram question. We obviously know that because of the diagram provided. Let's read the question and see what they're asking us to find. So the question says the graph of the function f defined by f of x equals negative 1 half x minus 4 squared plus 10 is shown in the xy plane above, right? So we see that, right? We see our y equals f of x. If the function g, not shown, is defined by g of x equals negative x plus 10. Well, why isn't it shown? Let's, let's actually graph that. So g of x equals negative x plus 10, when I think about y equals mx plus b, tells me that my slope is negative 1 and my y-intercept is positive 10. So I'm going to go to the y-intercept and graph the 10. I'm going to use my slope of negative 1, so uh, down 1, right 1. So I'm going to go down 1, but then I actually need to go right 2 because right, that's, that's one space, that's one unit. Um, so that's our, our, our scale is a little bit off here, right? Our scale is just one mark on the y-axis for one unit, but it's two marks on the x-axis to get to one unit. So there's, there's my slope, right? So I'm going to do it again, go down one, right two, down one, right two, down one, right oh, twice, down one, right twice, again, 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 and again. So my line would look like this, roughly. Okay, so now it is shown, right? Um, what is one possible value of a such that f of a equals g of a? So a is just the same as x, right? a equals x, right? So anything that we put into the parentheses here represents an x value. Um, no matter what letter you use or what number you use, it represents an x value. So where do we have this happening, right? Where is our f function equal to our g function? Well, that's wherever we have an intersection, so which is happening here, and it is happening here. So where, what are the x values for when that occurs? Well, that, is, that occurs when x equals 2 and where x equals 8. So because those are the two places, and because a equals x, right, that means that occurs where a equals 2 or 8. I should say and, actually. Both things are true, 2 and 8. Because we can only choose one answer for this test, you can choose either one you want, right? So 2 would be a correct answer. 8 would also be a correct answer. So that's it. So we use this diagram. We kind of translated some things from the question. We made sure we actually drew in the graph that was, uh, that was described here. Instead of just trying to imagine it, we drew it in. And by drawing it in, we actually see the answer very clearly. I think the trick, the tricky part to this question is the scale. right? Like That's the thing that most students are going to make a mistake on. Um, the scale, always pay attention to that. right? We're going two spaces to get to one here. But we're only going one space on the y-axis to get to one. So that's it, two or eight.